So I finished laying on my track about a month ago. Everything runs great, no power issues. The trains don't fall off the track. It's great, except apparently I have too much track. So, time to rip it up again. Hello YouTubes, don't panic, I'm not ripping up the entire layout. Just a small modification which is actually going to be beneficial. Let me show you. If you've been keeping track, see what I did there, you might know that this section of track is going to be for my railway museum for out of town locals to come visit and let the locals try something new from around the world. However, this whole section here is the only real area I have for the town and I kind of underestimated the size of buildings. For example, the closest I could go with this building, and I've got a few of these and I've still building more, the closest I can really go would be a bit there. And this section here is my road. So that's not going to work. That building would really have to go way back there. And likewise there and i've got about another six of these to build so there's no way i can have that track there unfortunately so i am removing this bit of track but do not fear because if you might you might remember i've also got this section of track so what i've decided to do is extend this section of track all the way around here and it will join on round about there which is good for two reasons. One, I've got an even bigger siding. And also, it's not just a dead end there. I don't have to back locos and passenger cars and goods wagons in there. They can just continue around. But what I will do, apart from it joining at this section and round, I also want it to join onto the main track or the main loop at this point. Because as it is, anything coming from this line to there, in order to get onto the main line, it would have to go all the way up there and then reverse down here and then go that way. So this way makes far more sense. Trains can come in there, around here and back onto the main loop there. So that's the plan. So my little train museum is not forgotten. It will just be relocating to this extended siding, which is going to work out much better. Although the station platform will be on a curve, but you know, that happens. Right, let me grab some tools and start hacking up some track and relaying the new stuff.
Now, I wouldn't say I hate laying track, it just kind of gets in the way of the fun stuff, like playing with the trains. Okay, let me show you what we've done. So as you can see, I added a new set of points here. I'm not in love with this style of points, and I've added my little spring thing there. If I can get new points, the more modern Atlas type ones, then I'll probably replace these. And obviously I've got my isolators there. I ran out of clear ones, so obviously I'll need to paint them. They're a bit obvious. So this new track here extends around here. As you can see, there's a big gap. Uh, I was hoping that it would curve a bit closer, but no, that's not the way it's going to work. So I need to come up with some ingenious plan for what goes in here. And it's going to be an island because there's no way to get to it from the road, which is going to be along here. Anyway, it straightens out here a bit, which is going to be ideal for a little station platform. Might have the station around here and a platform here. Who knows? And obviously another set of points here going back onto the main loop. So, does it work? Well, let's find out. We have two test subjects. Let's start with the Canadian Pacific GP38. I still don't know what they're called. Well, let's call it a 38. Don't think it's a 40, it's not big enough. Anyway, I'm just yapping away, killing time, because he's got to come all the way around here, around that wall. And we are going to go for the furthest set of points over this railway crossing or it will be a railway crossing over the road. Right, here we go. And obviously I've wired it up beyond the isolation section. So far so good. And from this point on, nothing's really changed, so it should be fine. I've not altered anything on that particular part of the track. So we will send him into the local storage area, which is up here. And then we will try the big boy, Delaware and Hudson is en route, hopefully not to a terrible accident. Basically if this guy gets round then anything will. I've had non-stop issues with this locomotive because he is quite old and the wheel uh, gauge, the, the distance between the wheels isn't quite right. But I'm going to be able to fix that very soon. And I'll show you why soon. Also, right across the first set of points. This guy does not like points. But so far so good. So one more set of points to go. And then we can declare success. So, success. Fantastic. I do love this local. With these brand new LED lights which a lot of people are going to hate, but that's okay, because it's my train and I love it. Anyway, mission success. Now, as much as that was a bit of a pain, it has actually solved a logistical problem as well as the buildings and town problem. Beforehand, having that siding there, it was really difficult to get access to it, but now there's two ways, one way in, one way out. So... It's actually turned out even better. I've got a through station area now for my little railway museum, so it's all good. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Train time.